Welcome to Crystal Maker 10. In this tour, we're going to investigate placing a molecule inside a crystal structure. So here I'm starting off with one unit cell of the spinel structure. And in this particular structure, we have quasi close pack layers of oxygen. And I want to try and insert a molecule onto one of these layers. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to transform this unit cell from a cube shape to a surface cell where two of the three axes are parallel to those close back planes. So I'm going to go up to the transform menu, I'm going to transform my unit cell and I'm going to project it onto the 111 lattice plane. And that's going to generate a so-called surface cell. This is my surface cell that we just generated. And if we look along the Z axis, we can see we've got these layers of oxygen. And I can make that clearer by extending the plot range along X and Y. And now we can see this is a new unit cell. The Z axis is approximately perpendicular to the close back layers. Now, in order to uh, make my molecule fit, I still need to make this slightly bigger. I'm going to make a supercell so that there's room for the molecule. And to do that, I'm going to use the transform command. We'll go back to the unit cell command, and this time we're going to generate a supercell. I'm going to make a three by three by one supercell. There we are. Now, we also need to add some vertical space to fit our molecule into this structure. And I'm going to use the lattice plane parallel to 001, which I'm going to reposition and use that to indicate where we want some more space. I'm going to move over to the inspector on the right, to the volume inspector, and I'm going to add a new lattice plane. And I'm going to change the indices to 001. This is relative to our new dummy lattice. And I'm going to reposition the plane where I want to insert some space into my lattice. So let me just move this down and I'm going to put some space just here. So that's my plane nicely inserted. Um, I can insert space using the transform menu, insert space. And I'm prompted to specify how much space we should insert. I'm going to insert 10 angstroms. So we'll click OK and now we have a larger unit cell with some space showing. If we make that a space filling model, then we can see we've got our close back planes there and I want to insert a molecule into this space. Now I can add a molecule to the current document using the add structure from library command. So let's browse through some organic structures and let's choose a molecule to put into our structure. And uh, it's that time of day where I could do with some coffee. So let's add some caffeine into my structure. So let's just double click and we've got some caffeine. Now, where's that gone? If we open up our structures list, we can see we've got two structures in the same document and currently they're separate structures. Now, if I hold down the shift key, I can display the two structures in the same uh, graphics pane and I can move one structure relative to the other by locking the host, the crystal, and then by using the move tool. Let's move our molecule down to here. OK, so I've now got a display and if I unlock the crystal, I can rotate the crystal and the molecule. So I've got a molecule inside my crystal. At least that's what we can see on the screen. However, these are still separate structures. So if I want to create one composite structure that includes the molecule inside my crystal lattice, then I need to merge these two structures together. Now I can do that very easily. I can right click in the structures list and I can do merge selected structures. Now the order here is important. You'll notice that the spinel structure has got the yellow highlight around it. That's our primary selection. And so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be merging atoms from caffeine 
into the primary selected structure, the crystal. And the little sheet here uh, tells me what's going to happen and uh, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to click the Merge button. That creates a new structure. So we have our original structure, the crystal, with a space. We have our molecule, which we moved, and we now have a new crystal structure which contains atoms of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen inserted into a crystal lattice. And this is the structure that one would export to another program like VASP for modeling and relaxation. So there we have it then. We have a quick tour in which we have inserted a molecule into a crystal and then merged the two together to give us a new hybrid structure.